So what do we got here? Looks like today's vlog might be cancelled. Got back from the thrift store. This thing does include a mouse. Um, don't know if anything works yet. Um, just got this compact keyboard from the thrift store for two bucks. Hoping it'll work because it didn't come with the uh, original keyboard, the red keyboard that's supposed to go with this model. Um, let's take a look here, see what we got. We got a, looks like, I think it's, I can't remember, I know it's an iMac. I'm not sure if it's G3 or G what, doesn't seem to say on it there. As you can see here, we get some basic audio ports, two USBs, an Ethernet, and a modem. So let's go ahead and at least plug in our mouse and compact keyboard. Be interesting to see if this works. I'm not sure if Apple's that picky, but I'm hoping, I don't know, shows you how much I know about Apple. Let's see if I can find a model number anywhere on this thing. Oops, just almost came off. I don't see any model numbers underneath it or nothing. Or any stickers for that matter. That back on there. Um, it says iMac on the front. Maybe there'll be some information when I turn it on. Power cable's a little gritty looking. Let's go ahead. Yeah. Plug her in. And there we go. Let's see what we get. Hey, okay, here we go. Well, the light came on. A bad noise but I don't see a picture. I don't see a picture. I have a microphone in it. Huh, well this isn't good. Oh, wait a minute. I see something. Mac OS 8.6. Mouse work, mouse seems to be working. Not sure if this keyboard is. Let me get a mouse pad real quick. See here. There we go. Boot time back in them days was a little slow, wasn't it? Let's see if this opens up. Yeah, that opens up. Have to get a disc and see if that works. Um, let's see here. This thing's got a lot of junk installed on it. Internet Explorers on this thing? Huh, I might try connecting to the network. But let's see, it's been a while since I've used an Apple, so I'm wondering where do you go to like type? I don't. Oh, what do you know? The keyboard works. It's not authentic, but so what's the Apple key? The Windows key? No, Windows key doesn't do anything. But, at least that works for now. I'd like to find an authentic keyboard for it so it'll be an authentic set. Uh, let's see what's on this thing. Macintosh HD, uh, 4.8 gigabytes available. Now, I don't know much about Macs, but there's gotta be a place here to where I can, like, see what the system has in it. Um, about this computer, maybe? Mac OS 27, so I'm guessing it has a built-in memory, 96 megabytes of built-in memory. Um, any more information about it? That doesn't tell me how big the hard drive is. Hmm. Scissors, I'm to open this. It's got Office on it. Uh, looks like some type of payroll stuff. It's actually got some pretty good software in it. I'm surprised. Oh wow. There's a JPEG picture. Thank God Windows don't got these annoying sounds, huh? Okay, let's see. Sunset. Okay, there's no nasty pics in here, so that's good. Some pictures of their family. And explore programs. Yeah, it's got a lot of Microsoft Internet Explorer, WordPerfect, 
Outlook Express. Knowing, knowing that they didn't clean this off, what do you bet I go into Outlook and they have their password for their email in there? Let's see. Not sure, is that DVD ROM or it's DVD? Probably just regular CD. It's spinning up, it's a good sign. And it's doing something. It's got a little Mickey Mouse on the screen. Well, this is a good sign. It looks like the uh, um, CD drive works fine. I need to get a network cable. So let's get a network cable here. This is kind of interesting, kind of makes for a fun little evening. So I can find my network cable without having to dig too much because I don't feel like Ooh, I got lucky. There's a mouse stuck in the middle of it. Doggone it. Oh well, it's coming with me then. Okay. So I want to do this like a little one take, one take Friday of me playing with this. Um, maybe what I'll do uh, in the future, I want to be able to clean this up, be able to find the original software for it, find the original keyboard, and then reinstall everything and put a nice little, you know, fresh install on it. So hold on here, kind of plug into the network. You can go ahead and look down there. Here, see if the Ports work. Let's take this thing on to 2013 internet. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun. Okay. Don't know anything about Mac and its network setup, so I don't know what this is gonna do. Don't know if it's just gonna read it instantly. Let's go to applications and let's just try. There's no Safari on here. Maybe it didn't exist back then to try Netscape. Oh wow. How many of you guys uh, remember this Netscape? YouTube.com. Can you spell com? Oh boy. We don't do that anymore. Okay, got it online, um, finally. And internet looks quite interesting um, in today's standards, I guess you'd say. Go to YouTube here. <laughs> it's giving me a, I already see it's gonna take me to a uh, not supported browser. So I'm not even gonna be able to look at it, it's just gonna give me an error. <laughs> yep, pretty much. And they can't even load the uh, supported browser error page. <laughs> oh, well, that was kind of interesting. We just wanted to see if it works, but I'm having a problem here. This mouse is nasty. It's starting to put, I've already taken this off here. So you can see it's putting this nasty goop all over the mouse pads, and I got to clean that. But we've got to clean this up real bad. Um, so far, diagnosis is, of course, keyword. Discovered speaker on this side is not working, so we are going to have to go into it and do some cleaning of that speaker. Um, so far, the drive's working fine. Um, what else? Um, of course, clean it up, see what kind of memory it takes, maybe give it a RAM upgrade, maybe a hard drive upgrade. Um, don't know if like things like the microphone work yet, still got to play with it, see if that's working. See as much as it's working as possible. And yeah, I think I've got to go clean this up. All right, we got this baby shining now. This should perform way better. Looks like the restoration process has just begun. Because it doesn't end here. Oh, much better. Yes. Um, I did notice, I think there used to be like a door here. This is shut, so there's another thing you gotta fix. But probably tomorrow I'll start breaking into this thing. I need to do some research on it first to see like, uh, how much RAM I could put into it and whatnot. I need to figure out this model number. Um, yeah, so I want to jump on Facebook here in the Brayhawk tech group and hopefully uh, get some help from some of you guys. And uh, <clears throat> hopefully we can get this thing uh, restored, a little bit of an upgrade, and cleaned up. And this will be a nice collection to add to my, uh, my uh, Windows 98 machine, which you saw me fix before, my uh, Dell. Um, XPS. So. All right, well, I'm going to play with this some more and I'll update you in a minute. Well, I was kind of exploring this computer's email 
was on it. And from the looks of it, in August um, 2000, this computer was powered off. Um, so which means it's now September 2013, so about, yeah, almost 14 years later, I power it back on. And I noticed even the monitor, all the text is crisp, everything's clean looking. Um, it's been sitting in storage for a long, long time. So it makes me wonder, from what I did find on this computer, if the person who like owned it passed away. But from reading the emails that are in there, it looks like he got a new computer in August 2000, and this probably got stored away and sat ever since. And uh, I'm the next person to get it. So that that explains why this thing is like in pristine, pristine, beautiful condition, minus these little flaws. Um, yeah. So, uh, right now what I'm doing is I've downloaded uh, OS X, the one that can go on here, the latest version. Uh, problem is I need to get the uh, CDR drive working in this again, but I have to disconnect the hard drive to get it working because I installed the, uh, whatchamacallit drive, the uh, solid state drive. So i got to disconnect one hard drive temporarily, burn some disks and um, see if I can get it on here. And uh, right now I'm just kind of relaxing for the evening, just kind of browsing what's in it, getting kind of a history lesson in a way. So I, that might explain why the guy never deleted data. He probably put it in a box and just forgot about it, passed away, and uh, somehow I ended up with it. Right? You know, I ended up at the thrift store and I ended up with it. So, yeah, so uh, we'll probably continue on there once I get the discs burned. So that's the next mission. See if I can get a clean OS in here and get it very nice and cleaned up. Okay, well I've played with it. Um, I have decided to keep the OS that's on it. I cleaned it up, deleted the personal files, all that stuff. And now, well, what I need to do is wait for an order for a battery. The battery won't keep time. The CMOS battery is dead, needs to be replaced. Like I said, I need to get a speaker. So we're going to do that at a later date. But right now, I need a place to put it because a coffee table is just not going to work. And I'm thinking up here. And so I need to figure out where I'm going to put this stuff. But for now, I'm going to get it up here. All right. <clears throat> Got it all set up now. Monitors, keyboard, the iMac over there next to me. The mouse down there and the keyboard there. You can set up there. Believe it or not, this picture right there was done on an iMac like that. A little fun fact for you. Over here, got that keyboard, mouse, little fan, and then the server monitor there. So, got a nice little setup now. Look at that. Now that is a good computer setup. Oh yeah. So sitting here in a hangout next to my new setup with the server up there, my main PC here, and my iMac over here playing some, you know, Sim Farm. But I downloaded this game last night called Windows 311. And it, everything gives you an error, no matter what it is. It gives you an error on everything you click. And they're all smart alecky, like that. Sorry about the flicker, refresh rate, and older monitors. But the only thing that does work is Minesweeper. Yeah. <laughs> Except there's no right click on the Mac, so no matter what, you're dead. So, <laughs> there's that little cute little game. So, and of course you can exit, log off, it solves it. Bye bye. <laughs> now back to some real gaming on my sim farm. Also, I forgot to mention, I did figure out how to get the stats on this computer. If you go up to the Apple menu and go to Apple System Profiler, I was able to get some information on this thing to tell me what it's about like disk cache. Looks like it's got a 333 megahertz G3 processor in it. Um, it has 96 megabytes of RAM, 132 meg chip, and the other one is a 64 meg chip. So it's got good decent RAM in it. Um, it's got a regular CD-ROM drive, Ethernet, very slow Ethernet by the way, 56k modem, um, integrated graphics, um, 
yeah the e ethernet's really slow 100 megabits that's real slow um but uh yeah i can at least uh connect to my server over here this server here and i can download files from this server via ftp over to here so i can download stuff onto here move it there and get it over here because i can't find a up-to-date web browser to even dare attempt to tackle the web to download stuff so i gotta download it upload it download it yeah all right it is the next day and i noticed from editing the vlog um i am sorry about the refresh rate thing um that i could not see that on the viewfinder here and it looks horrible when i edited it so i'm not sure what it's going to look like when it gets up to youtube so i apologize for that first of all um, one thing I forgot this mention was I got this at a thrift store for $60. It sat in a thrift store shop window in the sun for about three weeks and I rescued it. I had to wait for payday and all that stuff to go and get it. And I was hoping it was still there. Luckily it was and I saved it from possibly being damaged in the sun. Um, another thing I forgot to mention was the hard drive in it is um, a 7 gigabyte hard drive. Um, so there's that little fun fact for you. And um, so I guess I'm going to wrap up this vlog for now so it doesn't go too long. Um, I may make one on my main channel called Geeking Off with all the other stuff I do to it in the future and make one big video of everything that I do to it. And hopefully uh, I noticed when I put my hand in front of the, uh, the thing like this, the refresh rate was a little bit better. So I might play with that in the future. But anyways, guys, I think it's time to end this vlog. And this is Anthony from The Antwerp from this time and every time on folks keep on clicking this is Anthony from Antwerp signing off